What is up, my dudes? You got Thub here, and it seems like a pretty good day to do some scrap. Part of that is because my garage is sort of an unmitigated disaster, and oh, it's really stressing me out. So, let us get rid of all this junk. I've done scrapping videos before, though, and in and of themselves, I don't find them that valuable it's fun to show off and see who got the most junk in their trunk and like who made the most money that week or whatever but i mean that doesn't who cares this one's gonna be a little different this is a scrap run specially tailored so that we can learn what different items are worth at least right now in canada as of november 2017 but the point is a relative value for uh, some things that I might be curious about. What's on the table? We got a stack of brake rotors. We've got a laundry basket full of BX cable. We've got rims. There's a few of those. And we got batteries. And I promised this brass and copper radiator from that car that we scrapped was gonna come into play. And I almost forgot, a small transmission. Today we're skipping the skibble scabble. <laughs> we got buckets of it. But I just don't think it's that interesting. So we're going to quickly rip some tires off, pile the stuff in, get down there as fast as we can. Suspension. Yup. Woo! All right. Now, on a serious note, hauling this much weight around is no joke. The roads out there are not great. It's like one degree, two degrees, so they're all kind of slushy and sticky. I do not have the stopping power that this vehicle normally does, and I have an immense amount of momentum going forward. So if I hit anything, both it and my vehicle would be So. Drive extra carefully, and I'll see you guys there. That fire truck is crammed its way through locked down traffic. I know he said I wasn't gonna film, but we're not moving at all, okay? We made it alive! Oh my god. Take another look at this. You see. You see what I'm talking about? That's not normal. Unless you mod your car like an idiot, in which case, I mean, I guess that's normal, but it's not normal for me. See how this turns out. All right, we got rid of that. Feeling a lot better. Still heading to a different place to bring the uh, transmission and the rotors in. So let's go hang out there.
get paid. They don't like cameras here, so I'll see you back in a minute. All right, we're back. It's actually the next day. It was kind of late yesterday, so I figured I would just finish it up now. What did we make? A bunch of money. How much? Who cares? It's not a competition. It's really nobody's business. I want to get into the point of this video, which is to illustrate some relative values of the more common items so that we all know what we're looking at. All prices listed in Canadian dollars. We'll do the small one first, Recon Metal, because they're the best place to bring cast iron and cast aluminum car parts. First, the transmission. That was 69 pounds of aluminum breakage at 15 cents a pound. That comes out to 10.35. So, what's transmission worth? 10 to 15 bucks, because that was a small one. Cast iron. I, they give us 8 cents a pound for the cast iron. I didn't bother to count how many brake drums I was throwing out of there, so I'm going to go over the footage and count them up, and then I will put the actual per unit value right here. So now we can all keep that in mind. My guess is it's a little less than a buck. Now, over to bare wire recycling. The first one on my list is a laundry basket full of BX cable. I got a buck a pound, which I think they actually get a better price other places, but that's where I went. It was $55. So a laundry basket full of BX cable is worth about 50 bucks. Batteries, I had a bunch of them. They were different sizes, but some of them were really tiny. One of them was really, really big. So let's pretend the really tiny ones all added up to a single battery, and the really big one was equal to about four. At 40 cents a pound, that averages 13.75 a battery. So let's call a battery 10 to 15 dollars. That's a lot like a transmission. Neat. Now, rims. I actually had two different kinds of rims. Some of these I actually purchased from people, because it seemed like they were selling for less than scrap value, and that's part of the reason why I'm doing this video, because I wanted to know if I made money or if that was a poor investment. I bought, uh, there was a set of four Jeep rims that I bought for 40 bucks. Anyway, I had two different kinds of rims. I didn't realize chrome aluminum rims came at a much lower price, but they're also a lot heavier. In total, I rolled in with 17 rims, but four of them were the chrome rims. So the 13 that came in at 70 cents a pound, divided down, averaged out to 1486. Some of them are smaller, some of them are bigger, so let's call a rim. Also, 10 to $15. Now the chrome ones, this was kind of surprising because they were only paying me 45 cents, which I thought was gonna be a ripoff, but they were actually quite a bit heavier. So those four were 150 pounds. Divided down, that's 1676 for each one of them. They were pretty big, but I was impressed. Go chrome rims, nothing to complain about there. And that copper and brass radiator that I pulled out of the Mercury Comet, because that's how they used to make them before they were all aluminum, that came out to $17.60. So that's a nice little cherry on top from that previous scrap job, but turns out everything was worth about the same amount. Batteries, aluminum rims, transmissions are all 10 to $15 a piece. A brass or aluminum radiator closes in on 20 bucks. A laundry basket of BX cable is $50. And what else did we do? Yeah. Brake drums and rotors. Now before we close off for the day, there's one last thing. I would like to give a big round of applause to the star of today's episode, an absolute gem and a perfect champion on her very first scrap run, my personal best, 1,222 pounds! Wow! What are you doing, Thub? Nutso. Am I right? What a gal. What a gal. Well, thanks for coming along, guys. That was two months worth of garbage. There'll be a little more, but um, I hope this was informative. I actually learned a lot. This was good. Yeah. Who knows what's going to happen this week? Y'all look forward to it, though. Leave it better than you found it. Keep doing the thing.